Fresno Air Terminal. Alrighty, we're ready to go. Fresno Ground, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, base of the tower with uniform, ready to taxi. Or I have the wrong frequency in. Let's see. For 650, Charlie Sierra, Fresno Ground, runway 29 to left, taxi via Bravo 7, Bravo. Bravo 7, Bravo 29 left, Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra. Right, cross an alpha on Bravo 7 for a right turn on Bravo. Reverse thrust. We'll test it once we get on Bravo. Yeah, weather's coming up. You can see all the way across the field there. That's not too bad. Alright, reverser is working. Clear the fail message. If taxiing the de-ice, pause checklist here until a paper de-ice checklist is complete. Not required. Flaps. 20. Altimeters. Set and cross-checked. Radar weather. On. Takeoff briefing. Uh, straight ahead to 10,000. Taxi checklist complete. Before takeoff checklist. It says the checklist departure next. briefing. Uh, VR 121, same as it always is. Same as it ever was. Yeah, weather in SoCal is great. Uh, I picked a spot that, uh, again, wasn't just flying into a Bravo. Those are fun, don't get me wrong, uh, but the airplane just does such a good job with the arrivals that I don't make any mistakes and the I'm still very much in the sort of zone with the Challenger where I want to do stuff that makes me work a little harder so I can figure out where all the weak spots are for me, all of my weak spots are, I guess is the, grammatically the way to say that, of which we have found no shortage, but it's been fun. Up over to tower, departures uh, 19-6. Before takeoff checklist, passenger signs. Advised on, anti-collision light, on, probes, on, windshield heat, on, wing and cowl anti-ice. Cowl ice is on. Continuous ignition, on, ATC TCAS, TARA. Supplemental ground wing anti ice panel. Checked. CAS. Takeoff config OK. See it. Landing pulse recog lights. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. After takeoff checklist next. Fresno Tower, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, short 29 left, ready for departure. Rumor 650, Charlie Sierra, Fresno Tower, runway 29 left, cleared for takeoff. If we take off 29 left, Challenger 0, Charlie 0. I have to retorque my uh, Monster Tech mounts today. I literally, like sat down in my chair and realized my throttle was on like a tiny, tiny angle, and I had not torqued one of these bolts in hard enough. In case you guys are wondering if I'm going to Home Depot today, buy a metric hex key set. I am. Thanks for asking. Alright, we'll HUD it up because it's uh, scary out. Alright, let's get this uh, Bombardier on the way. I'm hoping that'll stick eventually. Southwest 3235, contact Los Angeles Center 133.2. Good morning. EDN1 holds. We're making the power we should be. This is V1. Rotate. to the soup with the gear coming out. Oh, 
Laps are coming out. We're on the speed. Zero Charlie Sierra, contact departure. Departure zero Charlie Sierra. There's no departure, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, 2200 climbing uh, 10,000, Bulldog 3. November 650, Charlie Sierra, Fresno departure, enter contact. Again, we're flying away from where we want to go, so I'm keeping the speed relatively low and just letting us climb here. See him. Hey! It's a rescue dog. Reserve Charlie Sierra, turn left, direct shafter, resume on navigation. Left turn, direct shafter, ONAV, Challenger Zero, Charlie Sierra. Direct shafter, execute nav. We are out of the ice after takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Zero. Thruster missiles. Uh, this morning, if I can uh, start my uh, approach from Ignition. battleground or question fly, just then file this On. right now. Pressurization. Uh, 431 cross battleground. Checked. Uh, Pax transition. Cleared. ILF runway 22 approach. Okay, clear left. Yeah, fire at me, bolt, uh, rescue dog. Fire away. Complete. N1. Climb set. AP generator. It's 2505. Challenger 0, Charlie AP. Sierra. Shut down. Passenger signs. Yeah. Oakland Center, Challenger 650. Charlie Sierra, 7800. Climbing 10000. Not convinced I heard that frequency right over the checklist, but we'll see. There's no departure, Challenger Zero, Charlie's here. Can you get to uh, Oakland Center for me again? I got uh, 12505. Uh, 2575. 2575, Zero, Charlie's here. Let's do a couple things here. Oakland Center, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, 10000, direct shafter. 650, Charlie Sierra, Oakland Center, call maintain flight level 230. I maintain flight level 230, Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra. Uh, oh yeah, don't worry about the caps, dude. Uh, I, I've tried to preset my climb rate prior to takeoff. Uh, when you hit autopilot, plane climb is much steeper. Any tips or preset? That's a great question. So there's two there's two schools of thought on it. Uh, one is to use pitch mode. So there's a button you can map, uh, which is this little guy on the top. Or no, sorry, it's on the back of the yoke. It's called something something sync. S Y N C sync. Not like the Titanic one. Uh, yeah, it's this little guy here, the sync button. Anyway, you can map the sync and what that'll do, so I'm going to push it right now. I'm going to push the sync button in, I'm going to drop the nose a little bit, let it out. It's not working. <laughs> and if I take it out of flight level change, does it work? There we go. So you can be in pitch mode, press and hold this button in, move the nose down, let go of the button, and it'll move that flight director so it'll hold whatever attitude you've set. It doesn't work in flight level change mode, but it'll work in pitch mode. So right now I'm speeding up, so I want to say change my pitch to seven and a half degrees here. I'll just pull the nose up, let go of the sync button, and it'll set that um, pitch for me. So pitch mode works really well. I'm going to go back in a flight level change though. Uh, and the other one that I do, so I'll take off. First, like five, six hundred feet, up to a thousand feet. A thousand feet is probably a good number. 
sort of get the departure out of the way, flaps up, uh, and then just I set it to VNAV in, uh, or sorry, vertical speed at 2,500 feet per minute. Uh, get the airplane tidied up. Do it buys me some white space to sort of deal with everything else that's on the go. Uh, and then from there, once you get through 10,000 feet, go back into flight level change. It's important you don't leave it in vertical speed, especially once you get up much higher. You'll put yourself in a in a weird situation. Two seven four five zero Charlie zero. Yeah, if you leave it in vertical speed uh, all the way up into the googly ionosphere, you'll definitely uh, slow the airplane down too much. Oakland Center, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, flight level 189, climbing 230. November 650, Charlie Sierra, Oakland Center, climb and maintain flight level 350. Climb and maintain flight level 350, Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra. Shot head 431, report your eye for cancellation or missed approach in the air. Those frequency or on the ground, 122.2, change to advisory frequency approved. Yeah, rescue dog. So pitch mode is, pitch mode is the right way to do it, uh, in my opinion, but vertical speed is the easy way to do it, because I like to... I have a tendency to be in flight level change mode, and if you don't have a free hand, getting back into pitch mode, as I've done here, like you sort of need to take your hand off the controls for a minute to get in a, in a pitch mode if you're not already there, and that's no good. Yeah, I think you're right. I think pitch mode is uh, very much a PAX comfort issue, but it's also helpful for you guys. Like, so if I'm in here and I go, I want an unrestricted climb from, let's say I got the um, departure we just did. So I'm on the Bulldog 3, uh, you guys clear me to 10, I get takeoff power set, go pitch for VY, like I'm going to be at 10,000 in what, a minute and 25 seconds probably. Um, so it's, it's good for... Just trying to be predictable and controllable, and uh, I guess predictable is probably the best word for it. But if I were to climb this thing like I could climb in this thing, it would be really hard for everyone, including me, to sort of keep up. And let's finish the after takeoff checklist because I'm kind of snoozing on that. Cast. Checked. After takeoff checklist complete. All right, we're done. Yeah, I've never found a situation in this where I wanted to use flight level change in the absence of VNAV, I guess. Like, like, is it, like I said, if you just run this thing to uh, to max power, pitch for, you know, a certain speed, you're just going to climb or descend so fast. We're in a 6,000. So I made a mistake yesterday. We were flying from... I was a, I was a bag of hammers yesterday, man. Uh, we are flying from... Where do we leave? Ramona. Ramona up into Fresno, uh, which we're now coming back from. And I I had got it cleared to, I was at 3.8, got cleared down to 2.40 at Shafter. And the controller called me, uh, man, 15 miles or 25 miles from Shafter. And he's like, what do you do? He didn't say, what are you doing? But he's like, are you going to make that restriction at Shafter? Because I still show you at like 3.80. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, so I was lucky I had like a 60-knot headwind. But I just... Uh, Put it in flight level change, scroll the wheel up to the barber pole, uh, throttles went to idle, and we were in a 6,000 foot per minute descent. So using flight level change uh, will put you in a regime where you're going to have a really hard time keeping up with the airplane. Really, really hard time keeping up with the airplane. So, yeah. But I mean, once you get up here, like we're, we're up in the well into the flight levels we're in our vsm airspace now it gets very we're at max power the i'm asking the airplane to give us everything it's got and we're climbing at a still very respectable but a much more predictable 2000 feet per minute
Yeah, I wouldn't worry so much about presetting. So laterally, presetting your. Over zero, Charlie Sierra, contact Los Angeles Center one three three point two. Good day. Three three point two. Good day, zero Charlie Sierra. Uh, really, I just worry about the lateral guidance on the departure. So make sure you've got VNAV armed if you have any any restrictions along the way. Um, but really, just pitch for speed for that first thousand feet, and then do do what makes you happy, which is either vertical speed, twenty five hundred feet per minute, or um, if you're in pitch mode, just using the sync button. Los Angeles Center, Challenger six five zero, Charlie Sierra, flight level three one zero, climbing three five zero. Yeah, so Joey Delta, so Cal Charlie, altitude three zero zero four. Two others. Um, 650 Charlie Sierra, I believe it was Center. Uh, good morning, Tig, in the altitude. At flight level 315, climbing 350, zero, zero, Charlie Sierra. Okay. Welcome 1409, Los Angeles Center, where are you located? Yeah, those, uh, so there's a departure, say you go to John Wayne. Uh, thanks for approach. Uh, clear to San Gabriel Valley Airport. No. It's been a while. Maintain five thousand. Expect one seven thousand. One seven thousand departure. Departure frequency. Have a bigger short approach. One one eight point eight. Yeah. So if you get a diverse departure anyway, out of John Wayne, what they'll have you do is come out. Again, I'm flying out John Wayne, which is too bad. We should go in there today. Um, you'll often get like a uh, fly heading 220, you know, uh, climb maintain 2400. Well, you're going to take off at sea level. You're going to climb in the, even in a really slow climb rate for the Challenger, you, you, you got 60 seconds before you hit that ceiling at 2400. And if all you're doing is pitching for speed, you're going to hit that 2400 limit in 20 seconds. Maybe a little more than that, 20, 23, 24 seconds. So yeah, get that first seven, eight hundred feet sorted out. Bring the nose forward. You'll be at a thousand feet by the time you're at a pitch you're happy with, and then either set vertical speed manually. Uh, one of the things I recommend, uh, if you if you have buttons on your joystick, is to map uh, vertical speed or uh, pitch mode or like one of the autopilot buttons that'll manage your vertical profile, be it flight level change or vertical speed. Uh, so watch, I'm going to, yeah, I don't really want to pause here. Anyway, so like I've, I've mapped my auto throttle, my autopilot, my heading mode, and my nav mode to, um, what is the comm switch on the Thrustmaster Warthog throttle? And let's say I wanted to be in pitch mode right now. All I can do is I can hit a button on the Warthog. It puts, it takes me out of flight level change or takes me out of vertical speed, depending on what I want to do. Uh, and then it just goes into pitch mode and I can just use the sync button. Uh, it takes a ton of practice. Um, one of the things you can do is um, just use that save state. So that one where it's like, hey, entering the runway, here you go. I've saved this state for you. Uh, and just run that departure 10 times. Uh, makes it really easy for you to do that. I found myself doing that um, really like a 10, to 10 times easily. Good, good rescue dog, yeah. And uh, I've got a stream deck as well that I use really just for the startup. I don't use it in flight at all, but I'm, I probably should map a couple of the more commonly used buttons to it. Uh, since this is a new airframe, I have to do a little bit of... Uh, there we go. So I want altitude speeds. Yeah, I know I want nearest airports, but I also don't want nearest airports. There's a way to get your fuel on landing up here. Do 
These pages are great, by the way. So I'm going to land with 2,200 pounds of gas in uh, Gillespie. I think 150 ready to copy, zero Charlie Zero. Zero Charlie Zero, clear to Gillespie Airport via Los Angeles. Uh, correction, via direct Los Angeles. And uh, direct Cardi, Charlie Alpha, Romeo Delta, India. Direct Mission Bay. Direct. Challenger Zero Charlie Sirius, clear Gillespie, direct Los Angeles, direct Cardi, direct Mission Bay, direct. direct. Alrighty, let us do that then. Uh, Los Angeles, execute, direct, execute. That's showing LA, we got 83 miles to go. I'm not going to say I put a ton of work into that flight plan, but I put enough work into that that it should have been <laughs> should have been ready to rock and roll. Alright, so it's uh, LAX direct uh, Cardi. Direct Mission Bay direct. Execute. And we're in nav mode. All right, what was I working on over here? This is why I love flying on pilotage, man, because stuff like that makes you sort of work on the fly. Like, okay, man, I got to reprogram half of my half my flight plan here. Let's figure it out. Yeah, I mean, if LA is busy or if they're landing east or something weird, it's not not at all uncommon to get a reroute because everything in LA is the whole um, Southern California airspace is built around basically like Los Angeles and San Diego landing west. So if that if that changes, everybody's plan gets changed in all of Southern California. There we go. All right, let's get the weather at Gillespie. Get ahead of the uh, get ahead of the airplane a little bit. Skyhawk one seven two J Delta traffic is uh, twelve o'clock seven miles eastbound. Here's jet seven thousand descending four thousand. All right, weather in Gillespie. Uh, wind calm, 10 miles, sky clear. Charlie Sierra, after Los Angeles, descend maintain flight level 240. After Los Angeles, descend and maintain flight level 240. Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra. So 3235, descend the economics to a route. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to do flight plan. Sorry, legs. Southwest 3235. 35, Okay, so now it won't start my top of descent until LA. And I can ro roll down 240. I feel like we're working for our money today. It's good. Right. I don't feel like I'm terrible today. And I did yesterday. You guys are all lovely, but I was shitting the bed yesterday. Right. We need zero at zero. It's 10 degrees. Altimeter is 3002. Uh, back in the Challenger. Heck yeah. I don't think I've ever left the Challenger. <laughs> At least since it's come out. Yeah. What are we going to be landing in Gillespie? It's going to be landing west, I'm sure of it. But. I'm not sure of it, but I'm guessing that it will be. Uh, so we're probably going to land 27 right. Uh, 
Zero Charlie Sierra, say Mach number. 800 zero, zero, Charlie Sierra. Southwest 3235, say Mach number. 10.79 for 3235. Zero Charlie Sierra. Uh, re reduce, uh, reduce speed to Mach 0.76 for now. I need to wait till the, the other aircraft gets uh, gets turned out of the wind here. Uh, about a 60 knot uh, overtake on. This went Mach 7.6, uh, Challenger 0 Charlie Sierra. 172J Delta Contact, SoCal Approach. 127.4. Oh, yeah, waypoint offsets are great. Yeah, there's a lot of if you watch uh Capitan Crash, he's one of the uh the guys who's banging around on the Hot Start Discord who uh has a little bit of a Twitch or has just started a Twitch channel. He's a CRAJ guy, but he just super nerds out over the FMS. The streams are really they're very long and very slow. But there's a lot you can learn from them if you're interested in how to bang around in that uh, that call ins FMS. All right, we're down to seven six, as requested. Yeah, if uh, if you can't find it's Capitan Crash, not Captain Crash. It's the, it's really hard to find <laughs> if you don't if you don't spell it right or wrong. Anyway, uh, it seems like a nice enough guy. It really nerds out on the FMS. Yeah, so we're going to have a pretty steep descent after LA. Our initial top of descent had us 4,000 feet lower. Uh, to zero concerns that it's still going to work out for us. Uh, again, there's no no crazy arrival or anything in a the, in the Gillespie. There you go, Art. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, there's some great stuff. So let's say he said, hey, Chris... Uh, you know, t 20 miles from LA, like right now our descent is, you know, cross, cross LA at 35 and then descend and maintain 240. Uh, if he said, Hey Chris, I want you to do at, uh, what is it like LAX minus 20? Uh, it's, it'll say not matched right now because it, I'm putting it in the wrong spot. But if I put it above LAX here, I guess we could do it here. Uh, There you go. So I just do Cardi slash minus 20 and it'll build a waypoint. Three zero zero after mock changeover, Challenger zero Charlie Sierra. Perf, perf, Vino setup. Guys, we're crushing it today. Three zero zero. You got it. Oop. So now I don't even have to think about that anymore. I can just leave it in VNAV. Actually, I can do. I can not even think about it right now. Seven six. Execute. Perf. Perf. Resume. There you go. So he's giving me seven six when I'm in the mock levels or whatever, and then once I get down below uh, the changeover, the airplanes are, are automatically going to pitch me for three hundred, which is great because uh, we're starting that descent a little bit late, and keeping that speed up will. Uh, Help us get down to the predicted glide path, or not glide path, but vertical profile. Man, love it. I'm getting a little bit of a, not a workout workout, but I'm glad I had my coffee as we were firing up the stream today. Uh, what are some of the irresponsible things I have not done since setting up the airplane? I kind of want to put... Um, Air map symbols. Don't need any of that on here. I would prefer to have it on the MFD. Overlays. Okay, terrain is on, so it's good. Weather doesn't exist, but we definitely want traffic on, especially in SoCal, so it's done. Yeah, other than that, I think we did a pretty decent job of getting the airplane set up. Uh, yeah.
Chandra Zero Charlie Sierra traffic, 12 o'clock, 7 miles, southeastbound, uh, southwest 737, five level 320 descending. I have the traffic, Zero Charlie Sierra. Zero Charlie Sierra, right to go ahead and start your descent, send me tank level 240. Send me tank flight level 240, Zero Charlie Sierra, we're on the way down. What are the odds? Like, big sky, little airplane. It was a 7-3. As I'm turning left into his track. He should be climbing, though. All right. Big sky, little airplane. Let's do this. Okay. I don't think we need more than 4,000 feet per minute. Is secure. Passenger sounds. We're gonna put him on. Pressurization. Set. Fuel quantity and balance. Uh, two point six imbalanced. FMS landing data charts. Uh, landing data to go. Approach briefing. Uh, visual two seven right. Enough transition flight level. Set. Descent checklist complete. In range checklist next. Actually, that'll work. Uh, Welcome 1409, Los Angeles Center, climbing team 17,000, maybe uh, Palmdale, Los Angeles Center, climbing team 17,000. Welcome 1409. Zero Charlie Sierra, contact Los Angeles Center, 128.6. 28, 6, Zero Charlie Sierra. Central Center, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, flight level 295, descending 240. Six, five, uh, Zero Charlie Sierra, Los Angeles Center. Um, reduce speed to uh, 280, then continue descent. Hey, Torm, good to see you, buddy. Sorry, sorry about your bank account. I have the same problem. Zero Charlie Sierra, Los Angeles Center. Reduce speed to 280, then continue descent. Reduce speed to 280, then continue descent. Challenger Zero Charlie Sierra. Alright, let's level off. Altitude modes, 280. Yeah. Just gonna make the airplane do the work here. Uh, descent slash 280. Let's do this. 0.76280. Come on. Charlie Sierra, thank you. And cross um, Cardi at maintaining 15,000 to 250 knots. San Diego Altimeter 3002. Cardi at 15,000 and 250 knots. Challenger Zero Charlie Sierra. 250, 15,000, set, execute, uh, vertical speed, 1,500 feet, and we're good. So no need to rush down, we're still below the predicted guide, uh, or vertical profile, I keep saying glide path, it's not the... Yeah, welcome 1409, we're going to need to disconnect, thanks for the help. 1409, Okay, uh, take off, or sorry, approach numbers to go. Perf, perf. Approach next. Uh, oh, they are sent, so we're actually set up. Uh, in my head, I'm thinking I missed something from that guy's instruction. The only thing, uh, the only thing I missed is the altimeter setting, which we have near enough. The reasonable, reasonable facsimile of whatever the number was he gave me. Uh, it's no big deal. Man, uh, really good workout today. I'm I'm glad uh, glad all my two brain cells are smashing into each other fast enough this morning to to hang on. Uh, Torn me out. So my free time, man. This is certainly the first week the challenger was out. I didn't do anything else. I didn't do anything other than fly the Challenger. I have no regrets. I'd like to go back into FMS speed just so we make sure we hit that uh, 250 at 15. That's a weird, it's a weird altitude to hit 250 at. But the airplane will take care of it. It's no big deal. Uh, if I go to the progress page here. 
It's a good point. I can roll down to 15 now. Or, you know, as I look at the progress page, uh, go to page two. So I'm 1,400 feet lower than the airplane needs me to be. I am descending at a speed less than it will normally descend at. So we're slowly, I'm slowly converging on that predicted uh, descent path. Um, I have, you can see path is armed here and alt select. So I know the airplane, once this dot gets centered, will switch in from vertical speed in a path mode. And I know once I hit this number here, 15,000, or I guess this number here, because we're in vertical or VNAV, I know once I hit 15,000 because alt, uh, alt cell is selected, we'll stop at 15. So life is grand right now. Over 1045, contact Los Angeles Center 128.6. Los Angeles Center now, 128.6, clip 1045. Uh, ATIS, 2545. Probably way too far to get this, but we'll try it. India, Gillespie. Sky 177, Zimbabwe, Arch, Area, Wind calm, visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Sky 177, Santa Barbara, departure, radar contact. <sighs> yeah, that was good fun, man. Uh, we got a little bit of a workout today. Really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, just trying to get, is there anything I'm missing right now that would help me out to, what does two minutes from now Chris need? Uh, and the answer is not much. I don't think we've run the descent checklist, in range checklist to go, which we'll probably run around seven or 8,000 feet. Uh, it's really just getting the APU on. Um, yeah, the airplane's doing just such a good job of keeping up. It's one of those things where I'm really glad um, to have spent some time offline with the airplane before I jumped on uh, on the networks because trying to figure all that stuff out for the very first time would have been pretty challenging. Challenging. Pun, pun of the day. Yeah. Uh, minus 25 here this morning. So this is why <laughs> part of the reason why we're in SoCal today. Need a little break from the Canadian weather. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can be doing? I really don't think there is. I'm trying to remember what the SoCal approach frequency is, but it's not really going to buy me any time. And the one thing I could have made a mistake on, I guess, here is in the perf page, when I did the approach numbers, I didn't put my anticipated landing weight in. I just used the current weighted airplane. I don't see a change in these numbers, but let's try it. Yeah, changed it by two knots. So that's good. We have better numbers in now. Uh, V-Path is his arms. 19.6, zero Charlie Sierra. 19.6. Not cleared for the visual. So Cal Approach, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, flight level 182, descending uh, 15,000 at Cardi in 250 knots. 650, Charlie Sierra, So Cal Approach, San Diego, altimeter 3002. Um, I didn't copy if you caught the ATIS there, but uh, do you have a request? Uh, 02, I have India, Gillespie, and we'll just take the visual 27 right. So Charlie Sierra, I'd expect that. After Cardi, this will maintain 7,000. After Cardi, 7,000, zero Charlie Sierra. You guys can see the uh, airplane doing a great job of just slowing us down gradually to meet that 250 and 15 at Cardi. Uh, we 
Cardi speed two three zero. After Cardi speed two three zero, Challenger zero, Charlie Sierra. What a great airplane, though. Jeez. Great airplane. Yeah, minus 25 this morning. Man, it's been like that for a week or two now. Eh, maybe not two weeks, but a week anyway. And I was trying to figure it out last night, man. I was like, I was bagging hammers. We were trying to fly the Challenger a little bit. It was just sucking. And I, like, me and the boys were going to sit down and play some, uh, some video games. I just couldn't, couldn't stay concentrated on it. And I was, like, trying to figure out why I was so tired. And I think that's it. It was just like a couple of weeks or a week, or I guess at least a week of being that cold. Just sucks the sucks the the life out of you a little bit. Alrighty, down to seven thousand, and the speed's coming back to two thirty. Uh, I don't even need to do this actually. Just put the ICAST back up. Zoom this range in a little bit. Center the heading bug. <laughs> I briefly thought so. Uh, Gillespie. This is what Gillespie looks like. Uh, I've, I've never seen anyone get a north south landing in Gillespie. I'm sure it happens though. Uh, pretty short runway, 4,100 feet. This guy's not big either. Like two seven rights, just less than a mile. And I, I was briefly, it was like, hey man, I should ask for two seven left. And then I remember we just got a brand new airplane because I spent two weeks in the Challenger doing stuff like, hey, can I land? Can I land here? All right, down we go. I'm not sure why we didn't uh, get a kill VDF. Uh, that I'm not sure by. Why did it not descend after Cardi? Should have been able to. It seems to be like VNAV limited at 15 right now. I'm not sure why. So I've killed VNAV. We're just in vertical speed mode now. Uh, there's no need to be in VNAV necessarily unless I wanted... Yeah. You put a little bit of board to it so we don't speed up too much. Yeah, I mean, VNAV is really helpful because you can use the FMS speed. You can still bug it in like we have here, so it's, it's sort of a net zero right now. But uh, I certainly rely on VNAV a lot in this airplane. But the board's out. You can see they don't really do do a ton necessarily. I shouldn't say they don't do a ton. They they do they do a little bit. But. Santa Barbara departure. Um, high high one seventy seven requesting uh, six thousand. Uh, Sky one seventy seven. Uh, you were charged with climb maintain eight thousand. Climb and maintain eight thousand. Contact. Oakland Center, 128.7. and what was the center, sorry? Oakland Center, and you should be maintaining 8,000. 8,000, uh, Oakland Center, 108.7. Clipper 1045, contact SoCal Approach, 124.35. Alrighty. Uh, Southwest 3235, contact SoCal Approach, 124.35. 12435 Southwest 3235. So it's telling me you got flight plane discontinuity. I'm expecting that. Uh, we're just going to go in a heading mode at a mission bay. Approach. Good morning, Clipper 1045. Uh, we're at uh, 10,000 descending via the arrival. We've got information, Romeo. Clipper 1045, SoCal Approach. Uh, cleared RNAV, runway 27 approach, number 3002. Clear for the RNAV, runway 27 approach, Clipper 1045. So Cal, good morning, Southwest 3235, 7100 now coming down the COMEX, we have Romeo. 
Challenger Zero, Charlie Sierra, flighting zero nine or zero, Vector Gillespie Airport, contact SoCal approach one two four point three five. Zero nine zero two four three five zero Charlie Sierra. Southwest thirty two thirty five SoCal approach, Spec Vision approach, runway two seven, Alpha three zero zero two. Four three five. Let's go. Visual two seven uh, thirty two thirty five. So thirty thirty four uh, thirty five. Maintain one eight zero knot. Back to one eight zero knots. Thirty two thirty five. Local approach, Challenger Zero, Charlie, 650, Charlie Sierra, uh, 8,400, descending 7,000, speed 230. 650, Charlie Sierra, SoCal approach, uh, expect vision approach from 27 right, altimeter 3002, maintain 180 knots. 180 knots, Challenger Zero, Charlie Sierra. Zero, Charlie Sierra, still maintain 6,000. 6,000, Zero, Charlie Sierra. Alrighty, so I gotta bring the vertical speed up a little bit so we can slow down. Thousand feet to go, beats uh, 40 seconds. Speed's coming back. Let's run the in range checklist. In range checklist. APU. Started. Altimeters. Three set, cross checked. Avionics. Are set up the way I want them. External lights. On. N1 target. There's the fields. I do this, this, this. Set. APU PAX transition. SoCal Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra, field in sight. Zero Charlie Sierra, uh, traffic 1 o'clock, 6 miles, same direction. Southwest Same altitude. APU generator. Look in, Zero Charlie Sierra. On. CAS. Is checked. In range checklist complete. Before landing checklist next. You guys see a 737 out here, put your hand up. So I can see you. Okay. Not seen. Uh, where would he be? It's hard to tell. Oh, he's trending 12 o'clock at 4,000. Stop with 32.35, turn 5 degrees left. There he is. Five left. Uh, Shit. I could suck. So Cal, the point of view is 35. Uh, send a call for Hong Kong to the airline. Uh, turn five degrees left. Right, five degrees left, southwest, 3235. Oh, he's moving away from us. Okay, less danger. Our zero Charlie Sierra, clear vision approach, only two seven right. Here for the visual approach, 27 right, Challenger 0, Charlie 0. Alrighty, down we go. Zero, Charlie 0, are you going to need to go to the to the right any? Negative, 0, Charlie 0. Right. So, Cal departure, good morning. Skywest 3788, 5000, climbing 10,000. Skywest 3788, circuit departure, rid of contact, climb via set except maintain 1 0 10,000. Putting all the boards out, I got a notch of flaps in. We should stay relatively slow. Uh, my intent is to get down for a 5 mile base, hopefully around 2,000 feet. We're parallel to fields, going 3 miles a minute, and sending it 2,000 feet per minute. It's not going to work. So we'll we'll uh, we'll make some of that up in the base turn. Southwest thirty-two thirty-five. Southwest thirty-two thirty-five. Roger. Turn right, heading one eight zero descent and maintain five thousand. Maintain visual separation from traffic. Yeah, traffic. Right, one eight zero five thousand and maintain visual separation from the traffic. Southwest thirty-two thirty-five. Clipper ten forty-five. Traffic is four o'clock, two miles, turning southbound. Seven, uh, southwest seven thirty-seven six thousand. We'll keep an eye out, so, uh, Clipper 1045. Clipper 1045, that traffic has you inside, maintain visual separation from you. We got 10 right, just for a second. Oh no, I told them I wasn't going to, so we're good. Reserve Charlie Sierra, contact uh, Gillespie Tower, 120.6, have a good landing. Uh, over to Tower, Challenger Zero, Charlie Sierra. Alrighty. Zero, Charlie 
already. Let's do another notch of flaps. Need to get the HUD up for a little cheating. Let's get a left turn going for the base. Descending on the with the approach, correct? That's affirmative, Clipper 1045. This be back to 160. Gear out. The spoilers are coming up. I am on tower. Alrighty, direct. Execute nav mode. Keep that turn coming, airplane. Keep the turn coming. There we go. Buy myself a little bit of white space just as we get lined up here. Lesby Tower, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, visual 27 right. Clear to land. Clear to land, 2-7 right, Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra. Okay, autopilot's coming off, auto throttle's coming off. A little bit high. It's all good, there's quite a bit of terrain here, so that's what we're working with. Uh, ref plus 5 will be 24. It's uh, my throttles, autopilot's off, before landing checklist. Landing gear lever. San Luis Tower, Down one one whiskey, midfield, no we'll make this one full stop. Armed, center, clear, anti-skid. Runway 2-9, clear to land, one one whiskey. Yeah. Hard to test it. Passenger signs, on. Wing, Five, cal, anti-ice. Uh, not required. Continuous ignition, on. Thrust reversers, armed. Spoilers, stowed, auto. Flaps, set. Pass. Checked. Before landing checklist complete. After landing checklist next. A little bit low, but it's fine. Lindbergh it's a short Tower, runway. I'm trying to get down. Barnav, Tower, 20, 40, 20, uh, two landings again. If you, if you, those of you on the left side of the airplane will see the center line. Lesby Tower, Challenger 650, Charlie Sierra, clear 27 right at Delta 1 for the uh, west transient parking. Number 650, Charlie Sierra, tax parking via Delta Alpha, remain this frequency. Or actually, uh, just via Delta, this frequency, have a good day. You got it, Delta, we'll stay with you, Challenger 0, Charlie Sierra. After landing checklist. Landing, pulse, recog lights. Flipberg Tower, good morning, oh. Southwest 3235 at Revo. Oh. Off of the visual Continuous ignition. Jenny speaking. Southwest 3235, Southwest Tower, Windshield Heat. Off. Oh. Understood. Understood. We'll have that ready for you. Anything else? Off. Oh. Wing anti-ice. Always a pleasure. Oh. Take care. Cal anti-ice. Couple of things could have gone a little bit better on that trip, but I'm really happy with it for the most part. Spoilers. Stowed. Flaps. Zero. ATC. You did a lot of work. Alt on. Radar mode. Stand by. Yeah, so that, that runway is um, 5,400 feet, which is a little less than a mile. Uh, and that was the reason, so as I was on a short final, I was like, hey, I'm getting a little low, but I'm, I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> I was trying to hit as early in the touchdown zone as I could. Uh, a little bit aggressive through the last sort of like 80 feet, I think. Uh, the scent rate was a little higher than I wanted to be. But it worked. Nobody died. 
We are casualty free in 2023. And we'll just flip a shitty here. I'm just gonna, gonna treat myself like a serious pilot. I'm the only guy who exists. We'll just pre-position for the next uh, next leg. Great work, everybody. Engine shutdown checklist. Taxi lights. Off. Parking brake. Set. Set. Reverse thrust. Stowed. Generators one and two. Off. Off. Engine two shut down. Fuel boost pumps. Uh, Off. Fuel system. Waiting for the ding. It's checked. Engine one shut down. Check ITT below 350. Yeah, cooling and spooling. Anti ice. Off. 14th stage. Off. Uh, Beacon. Ooh. Off. No steer. Off. ATC TCAS. Standby, zero. Parking brake if chalked. Yeah, we're not going to chalk. We're good. Passenger signs. Coming off. Off. Cabin differential. Zero PSI. Engine shutdown checklist complete. Hey, everybody. Security Sorry about all of the shenanigans. P.S. I forgot to call Jenny. She'll be here in a minute. Thank you for flying with us. Uh, that's it. And we're just going to run the quick turn checklist when we are ready to go.